What's going on, everybody? We're back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse. And uh, the Pro Tour is concluding right now. The top eight was a Jeskai deck, a Blue Red Drakes deck, and then six variations on the White Weenie Boros decks. And of course, the uh, Jeskai and the Drakes deck got knocked out in the quarters. So. Uh, we have turned off Pro Tour covers. I don't want to just watch three hours of Boros Mirrors. But it did give me the idea to come back and revisit Jeskai, which I was hating on like a week or so ago. Um, this list looks pretty spicy. And, uh, you know, I feel like even if we lose the first few goes of it, it's worth doing a series of us trying to learn to play this deck. Because clearly there's something to it. Uh, Several other people had very good records, like eight, eight, oh, well, eight wins or better in standard in the Pro Tour, and that means they were beating the Boros deck, they were beating the Green Black decks, and uh, other stuff too. So we're not going to jump into competitive constructed debt yet. We're going to play one or two here and start a series that we're just going to call. Hold on one second. Here comes a fire truck. All right, I think we're good. So yeah, we're gonna try to start a series here that's just gonna be learning Jeskai, like really learning it, not just playing one event, getting discouraged and switching decks. Like we did this with the black green deck and best of one. And uh, you know, we won a lot with that deck, but you know, it's worth learning how to sideboard and doing some stuff with this. So, ugh. and obviously we're off to a classic bad start with this channel where we're just mulliganing to oblivion I think we keep this, because if we find another land to unlock it... Yeah, done. Oops, who's... We gotta close uh, Discord. Alright, so we're up against the villain of the tournament, which was, or is, Boros. Oh, nope, different. Oh, how come it didn't close? All right, so we drew a Clarion, but unfortunately, they have uh, quite a robust, like, double hunted witness here. I think it won't matter too much because they're going to get their creature tokens. Ugh, another one? Jeez. I was hoping they were going to play some three drop that we could counter here. I still think we have to do this. This is awful. Wait, what? Did they not realize that they get like three tokens? All right, well, this may not be that good uh, practice. So one thing I was wondering is if it's worth it to bring in Niv Mizzet in this matchup because it's so good at pinging down creatures. I don't think we want expansion. I think we do want the Shivan Fire, that's why it's there. I think we'll take the Lava Coil. We probably don't want all these counters. We'll take both the Lava Coils and trim some counters. We definitely want the Lyra. And maybe we want the Seal Away and we just go cheaper. On interaction. I'm going to try leaving it like this and not bringing in the Niv Mizzets. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Like oh, We can take out this Negate probably. Although it is kind of good against... I saw the uh, top 8 player actually leaving it in. Because it's good at hitting. Maybe it's better than Essence Scatter actually. To bring... Oh, Disdainful Stroke. I haven't read any guides or anything yet. So let's do it like that. Let's leave it one essence scatter in case they have angels or something. It'll be very interesting to see if anyone writes a Jeskai report and talks about the matchup against Red White. I honestly thought the Jeskai player was going to beat the Red White player. Here, look at this all-star hand again. This one we can keep, though. 
Um, and just looked like the red white player got super lucky in that third game or the fifth game of the match. Just like as soon as they the Jess guy player had answered their uh frenzy the guy just like ripped another frenzy and won the game off that it's pretty unfortunate okay well depending on what they do here we'll decide on using the ship and fire these haza marshals are really not very threatening And any tokens they may make are just going to get swept up by Clarion. So I think we're probably okay here, even though all our lands are coming into play tapped. History resolves. Okay, so we'll decide if we want to Essence Scatter here or Shock something. And just hope they don't have, like, a way to make their whole team indestructible in the face of a Clarion here. I imagine they're going to, like, tap out Johnny's Pride Mate. I don't think this does anything. Two. I'm actually going to try to bolt it end of turn here. Huh. What are they doing? I feel like if this Clarion resolves, we're so far ahead anyways, but I don't want to them to have some kind of like instant speed life gain. I want to see it. Um, eh, maybe not. Maybe it's not even worth it. All right, well, we'll find out if we win or not right here. Looks like they have something, yep. And we play our land tapped. That's what we should have thought about. I was thinking of the one that's like plus one, plus one, indestructible. We should have been thinking about that. So we take eight, nine, 10. We're still not dead, unless they have another one. 11, 12, 13, yeah, they have it. Wow, so they actually had it both ways. If we had gone for the shock play, they would have just done take heart. Oh, no, 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 we should have still, we should have gone for the shock play. My my intuition was right. Um, if we had done end of turn shock, then they wouldn't have had mana to plus one, plus one their whole team. So we, we certainly should have done that. Uh, the only way we lose is if they, if they have that um, two mana up there and we let them have it. I don't think we're going to make any changes here. We're going to be on the play. Hopefully our lands will come into play untapped. You know, the, obviously the difference there between the turn three and the two four Clarion was enormous. All right, Steam Vents. No Clarion, but their deck is not as like insane as I think some of the other builds. So maybe we can keep the slightly greedier hand. We have Negate for... History, which is the scariest card. Hmm. Oh, this is this is a player that does not want to lose to sweepers. So we're just gonna just strike this here because we're going we want to hold up negate for what's likely to be a history next turn. And we're not really gonna have a good opportunity to use it. <laughs> Alright, we'll negate that. If they're not going to play history, then fine. We'll negate the thing that upgrades us to four damage. Another one. Oh, only upgrades to three. They can't split it. Okay.
Uh, four damage, fine. Fine. What does Teferi minus this? Yeah. They invested a lot of cards in that 2 1. Militia Bugler. We'll see what he drums up. Another bugler. Well, I think we want to keep our Teferi going. So let's just get rid of this guy and get a search down. We need to untap. Bugler number two. Hunted Wumpus. Ooh. That's a good one. That one helps. This guy blocks. Resplendent Angel. Dauntless Bodyguard. Can't do anything about those. Risen the camera shows inside end of turn here. And try to pull ahead now, like really pull ahead. All right, double land. It's not actually like horrible. We do just want to keep making land drops. That card seems really good. So, are we forced to Clarion here? I think the answer is kind of. Because we're just drawing so many cards, we don't want to be in a situation Yeah, this is absolutely fine. We have Syncopate Negate and Chemistry's Insight. This, when it gets to six, does not get first strike. So this being able to trade with it is very relevant. Hunted Wumpus resolves. All right, they just scoop. They probably didn't appreciate that we were like taking more than one second to hit the button sometimes because we were thinking. So they were playing straight mono white with no red. Let's do one more. Maybe we'll play against a more metagame deck here. I'd be interested to know what you all think of the uh, Pro Tour results. You know, we if you listen to the game podcast, it was interesting on Friday when they put posted the episode. Um, obviously, like the Pro Tour was already going. They waited until it started, I think, to give Jerry T some time. And he was talking about the red-white deck, or the I should say the white-red deck, since it's mostly white, and how it just seemed really good. And... Uh, he wasn't really sure what beats it, and 
the decks that he had that he thought were good just weren't doing well against it, no matter how much he kind of tuned them to try to beat it. And it looks like they ended up, him and his team ended up arriving on Mono Red, or at least some of them. And you've, I've seen people on uh, some pros like Efro on Twitter saying, like, even though the, his record, he didn't, like, make top eight, that his record with the deck he was, like, really good in testing against Red White. All right, so we're going to need to cycle this Revitalize and find a Clarion. Or we'll like just syncopate a three drop. All right, cycle revitalize. Steam vents. They're truly stuck here. We'll take three, and then if they really play nothing, we'll just strike the Pyromancer at the end of turn. Another one. All right, so let's syncopate this one. That saves us more damage. Nova's good. With Nova, we can kind of just let them resolve whatever this turn. Draw two cards, untap Nova. Do we even Nova? Maybe we just just a strike and have Sinister Sabotage. Yeah, I guess we do that. Now that we've drawn Sinister Sabotage. Oh, they're gonna bolt us here. Uh, I think we wanna save ourselves the three damage. Because anything, any creatures they resolve, we can just sweep up in a Nova. Another Firebrand. Don't want to go to six. Drake. Drawing all these shock lands now is awkward. All right, Lava Coil. I guess this is where we're at. We're gonna pull the trigger on Cleansing Nova here. And then Teferi next turn. I hope they just keep bricking. Hmm. Wow, come on. They're sandbagging these lava runners. So we need to find, we're probably dead now. Need to find Clarion. It's not Clarion. Just too much land. Way too much land. Huh. Um, so against this deck. We want the Seal Aways, the Lyra, the Binding, the Invoke. Probably the negates. Don't think we want these expensive counter spells.
And honestly, we probably don't want the expansions. This card has been like very aggressively bad in any matchup that's not like other blue decks. We just want the so we want the binding because it can catch things like the Phoenix or their enchantment. Invoke the Divinus for the enchantment also. You know, we're just getting rid of these clunky counter spells and bringing in cheaper stuff. Maybe three negate is too many. Maybe we want one expansion. I don't think it does very much, though. Hmm. I guess we have to keep this on the play. We know we have a lot of land. We have to assume we're going to draw it. And at least we have some cheap, in, uh, cheap interaction here. Okay. I hope that even with that, because we have the Clarion, even if we brick once, we are fine. Yeah, saves us a lot of damage. Land. All right, this is like half a land, so we'll take this. Graveyard can't cast it. All right. Another uncastable spell. If they're shocking, it makes me think they have Frenzy in hand, and they're just trying to empty their hand to play Frenzy. Unfortunately, we need to keep this, even though it's not a white source. We do just need to keep making land drops. Ooh. <laughs> Just have to hope they don't have like three wizards lightnings, okay. So we just want them to go frenzy and then brick on it so we can invoke it. What? Why are people scooping? What's his hand? Oh wait, I like totally miss I missed like this whole layer of my sideboard. I'm like not even looking at stuff. Shivan fire is obviously good. Lava coil is good. So what else would we take out? one or two chemistry's insights so we don't have too much time to play them be one to fairy or one syncopate how did i miss bringing in shit and fire I really wonder, their hand must have been so bad if they scooped there. All right, we can keep here. We have Clarion into Insight and Nova, hopefully. And they have no one drop. Okay, Pyromancer. It's so funny how good this card is. Just gets that damage in. Doesn't stop for anybody. I 
All right. So they bolt us here. They're down to three cards. Legion War Boss. That's going to get in for a turn. And then we get to sweep it up. Ooh, are they going to play around Settle? That's huge for us. Unfortunately, I think we've just wrapped this guy away. Ron 10. Next turn we can play Crackling Drake and hold up an Essence Scatter or, or a small Syncope. We just want them to not have a Frenzy. Nice, is that only a 1-2? We might be okay here. Don't like this guy, Steamkin. It's too scary. You can actually grow to be big enough. All right, Lava Coil's fine. They get us for two. We have Teferi plus, that's actually a nice draw. <laughs> nice, they don't have Frenzy, that's huge. We should be winning from here. Because we're way out of Bane Fire range, the Bane of the stream. This is all like just a like, nice backup to have. We have a big enough syncopate to hit a frenzy. I don't even think we want to use the chemistry's insight yet in case they have like six damage in their hand I'm just being really cautious we can use this one though six what do they have that cost six a bane fire for five yeah. Okay. Let's draw. If they know, if they have another Bane Fire, like, you know, then they have another Bane Fire. But it's possible that they're just playing to their outs of another Bane Fire. Like, I think that's what we have to assume. The Flame of Keld. I just don't want them drawing three more cards next turn. We just need to get our Teferi. Um, okay, actually, this is fine. They discard their hand. We ult Teferi. We play Teferi. We bring back Chemistry's Insight. Don't need that anymore. So yeah, ult Teferi. All 
right, yeah. So we take away the flame first so they don't get to draw. And we have uh, Counterspell and Seal Away and stuff for their turn. All right, cool. Well, we won that one. We won them both. It was close both times in certain ways because we were playing as aggro decks. And we made some like glaring sideboard mistakes, just like just having blinders on, not seeing cards in our sideboard there against red, especially. It kind of worked out. Um, so yeah, that was step one. I think we'll do one more of these, just playing, just constructed Q best of three to practice the sideboarding. Um, you know, we learned some really good stuff like from that white that white deck game. That if the Clarion's gonna blow them out, like do everything you can to make sure it blows them out. And we needed to just play that ship and fire and a turn there. So there, there was a chance that they would have used that pump spell and not, not had the two mana. And we just got kind of upside down on that transaction and destroyed. But we still won 2-1-2-1. Uh, two, one, two, one. So if we were in competitive constructed uh, league there, we would be undefeated. So yeah, we're going to keep practicing and then we're going to take this into competitive constructed. And this will probably be the bulk of the videos... Yeah, for like Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday this week, trying to learn this deck. I know people really like Jeskai. They like these control decks. Um, hopefully we do some good winning with it. And if not, we will try some of the other Pro Tour decks, um, like Green White Tokens, which also did extremely well and constructed, though the players did not top eight with it. Uh, and we can try, you know, some of the White Weenie decks, like the one that LSV is playing looks interesting because it's actually playing a giant's pride mate which is cool and we'll see if he wins in it or not that seems like good technology so that's it for this one i hope you all enjoyed please remember if uh you're liking the content and you haven't done so already that you can subscribe and help build the channel and uh make me feel good every time i make one of these videos and you can leave a comment and tell me you know what i did good what i did bad what you'd like to see and you can, of course, always hit that like button, even though I'm not sure it does anything. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll be back again soon with the next video.